Welcome back guys, Rafi right here. Today we're doing a review and also an unboxing of the Sightmark Reflex Magnifier here for your uh, AR-15 or rifle, whatever you might want to use it for. So I did a review on my other magnifier that I reviewed a while back for the uh, Holosun 510C. So if you want to look at that video, take a look right here, one of this link right here, maybe in the description down below. Uh, I have gotten a lot of views and also a lot of questions, but today I'm doing this review here for the Sightmark, which is a great, you know, combo package that you get for an awesome, affordable price as well. And some of the things that I'm going to tell you why I like about it, this one here, and some of the things that I don't like about it. So with that said, guys, if you like this video and if you want to share this video with somebody, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe down there below and support the channel by doing the comments or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's continue here with the unboxing and review of the Sightmark combo package with the reflect sight and 33 magnifier let's go now i was looking for this combo uh for a while in many different websites and places but the only place that i was able to find it is through academy.com so i actually bought this with my own money no one sent me this uh product here to review it so i'm going to definitely going to give you my honest opinion on this sight mark combo right here so with that said let's get it open and one of the things that I was so surprised is that the price point on this right here, which is $179 at the time that I purchased it. And the reason why I went with this one, because a friend of mine had the same one. And when I tried it, I was like, yo, this is great. You know, uh, I thought it's going to be like a much more expensive uh, item right here, but it's not. So it's $179 plus tax at the time that I bought it. You might find it for more or less, depending, but it's really rare to find this item right here like i said i went through academy.com and i got it so when we open it we get to see here some user manuals as always we're definitely using the t3 magnifier i do not have the t5 they also sell the t5 but this is the user manual for the uh, sight mark magnifier which is actually served the same purpose as the other one that i talked about before the holosun but you can mount it with a quick detach system and it moves to the side. So, you know, user manuals always. We also have the user manual here for the Ultra Shot Plus, the Reflex Sight. So, like I said, this is the Ultra Shot Plus Reflex Sight. I have it in black. Apparently, it comes in two different colors, and they're like light grayish, and also has a quick detach system as well. Um, so, we put that to the side. Then, what we got here in the box are some keys, some Allen wrench. Let's see, we got a microfiber cloth, small one that says sight mark. Let's see, we have this like L-shaped Allen wrench. Not bad, easy to grab onto it, put this in the front. And then we have a, like a wrench so you can, you know, adjust a few things in there. Let me put that here to the front. Then we got some silica gel as always. And then let me see. All right, so let's remove first the magnifier. It comes in this nice foam packaging, protecting everything. We got some plastic. And it's really, really heavy, really hefty. So it's really a uh, good material. We put this here to the side. <clears throat> so, all right. Let me move this here towards the side a little bit. So we have here the Sightmark 3X. It's a 3X magnifier. We have the quick release that I was telling you guys about right here. All right, everything looks good. Well built, aluminum. Quick release right here. And then the good thing is about it, you can put it to a side like that. When you don't want to use it, and then when you want to use it, get it back into place right there. We have the branding, like I mentioned, side mark, it says 3X. And then we have some adjustments here at the top, which is um, allowing for a, that Allen wrench that we talked about. So we can adjust the up, down, and the magnifying right there. Cool. Also it has side mark in the inside as well right here. And like I talked about, quick release. So pop, you latch it goes to the top. Awesome. So that's that. We put it here to a side. Okay. And then in here we have this neoprene case. Very nice. 
small. So if you want to take it out and carry it uh, somewhere else, you can definitely do that. So again, it has a sight mark logo. And then we want to open this right here. Okay. All right, nice and fitted. It's really fitted right here. All right. So I have nothing else inside the neoprene bag. It's a good, good way to carry it. And now we have here the reflex side guide. So, like I said, aluminum, well constructed, brand new. I love it. We had the quick release here at the bottom. On the other side, another branding side mark. Then on the top says up. Also with the Allen wrench, so you can adjust the sight right there. And on the side, we also have rear or right. Yep, okay. And then, as I mentioned, the quick release plate on the side right here. See, what I like about this one here too, um, also in, 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 in similar to the other one, the Holosun, is that we have easier access to here to turn it on and off. This one doesn't have any shake wake option so you have to like turn it on and off um, i'm pretty sure it will turn off after a while but you just want to make sure that you turn it off we also have brightness right here we have a session here but i believe this is for the battery it has like a little compartment here i believe that's the battery and the laser comes here from the back so there's no solar panel there's no nothing here it's just straight onto it has a nice window would we'll actually look through so you can see your MOA dot or, or circle. And like I said, it really looks, I like the construction, the way it looks. It's awesome. It's very, very well protected. I like that a lot. We're going to put it now in a moment to the rifle so we can see what that looks like. But this is pretty much what we get in the box, in the combo. Let's see what else we get in here. We have, all right, make your mark as a logo. All right, we have more things here. They got rifle scope, night vision goggles. They got prismatic sight, night vision rifle scope, and reflex sight, which is the one that I have right now. We also have laser sights, laser bore sights, flashlight, spotting scope, and magnifier. So they do sell like a lot of stuff. A lot of people are not talking about it, but like I said, I tried it on my friend's AR and I really like it and enjoy it. And I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get myself a pair, you know, I gotta get myself a combo to try it out. And that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing shortly. And then I'm gonna be taking this to the range so I can test them out. But one of the things that I liked about this one right here, in contrast to the Holosun, is that the way you change, you know, sights or dot or whatever, it's so easy. Right here in the back, there's like a little switching mode lever, you know, kind of like thing right there. And you just flip it. You just move it side to side to see whatever you like. So I'll be showing you guys in a moment. Let me turn it on. All right. It's on. And the first thing that I see is the uh, circle with the dot in red, right? But if I flip just to switch right here, let me see if I can flip it here so you guys can see it. If I just flip it, now I can see just a single dot. See, if I flip it again, now I can see like a little star with a dot in the middle. And if I flip it one more time, then I see the full circle with the dot in the middle. So there's so many different variation of sight that you get. And not only you can see them in red, but also you can also see it in green. Here, this button, okay, let me see. There you go. If you press the power button one more time, the light will change from red to green. So now you have all those different sites that I talked about, the dot, the circle, the little uh, star, and the circle with the dot, the crosshair, I meant in green. So if you prefer green, which is better to see during the daytime, you can flip it like that. And if it's too bright, you can lower the brightness and it'll be easier to see. That way it's not too bright, you know. Indoors, right here with this light, the super bright is too much. I have to bring it down. But maybe if you're outdoors, you can definitely bring it up. 
or if it's nighttime and you can see better with it, you know, brighter or darker, however, whatever you prefer. But the ease of use and simple of switching between different type of sites, if it's a dot, if it's a circle, a circle with a dot, a crosshair, things like that, that is a game changer. That is crazy. And for the price, like I said, you get both colors, red and green. You know, because the Hall of Sun, you know, the green one costs more, but it's only green. And then you get the red one, it's a little cheaper, but it's still a lot, you know. So the reason, the, the, the fact that you get two right here and a magnifier for like 180, you know, is it's definitely a bargain right there. So that's what we have here in the box. Nothing else comes here in the box. Like I said, from Sightmark. There is no affiliate links for this right here as far as I'm aware right now. However, I'll try to put some of the link if I find any down here in the description down below. So if you see a link right there, click it. That might be an affiliate link. If not, I will put it that it's not an affiliate link. You can get your product, this product from there. Uh, but the way you support the channel is by hitting the like, subscribing, sharing, and pretty much everything. So that's how you support me in this channel. Now let's continue. All right guys, so we're back over here. As my previous videos, I show you here on my AR-15, my radical firearm. And before we start, we want to make sure that we got no magazine right here. We have also a open and clear rifle right here, but there's nothing there. It also safe and everything. So, so it's clear and ready to go to show you guys. So let's see. The first thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that you're comfortable having the actual uh, rifle to you, you know, maybe your shoulders, however you feel comfortable, if you're right, if you're left, whatever. And then, like I say, I'm no expert whatsoever, so don't come at me in the comments below. <laughs> but with that said, um, you definitely want to aim to have this as close as possible to you. Some people like it in the middle right here. Some people like it further back. You also have to remember that you got to put the sight also as well. So... However you feel, you know, however you like work your way around and everything like that, how you, you want to make sure that it's lying properly. You should try to put this uh, f as back as possible. And this is just, I'm just showing you for your purpose. I'm not saying that this is the way I configure it or anything like that, but just to show you how this mounts right here. So this Picatinny rail right here, basically it aligns right there and you can actually make sure that you have it set and it's aligned properly, you pull down this lever and you can move it whichever way you want. You know, I usually try to keep it, like I said, all the way back, furthest back as possible. And then make sure that it's very, very tight and it's not moving up. Then you lock it into place and you hear that click. And now you're able to use that uh, magnifier rail. You can put it to the side. And once you have it to the side, then it's time to put the actual reflex side right here. And once again, you know, you kind of going to have to work your way in here, groove it, put it wherever you want or where you feel is comfortable for you. Make sure that it's not touching or impeding uh, that flip thing right here so you can change your sight. Because uh, you put it all the way back, you're not really able to flip it. So you want to put a little bit forward. That way you can get your, you know, your finger in there and then move your sight right there. So whenever you feel that you got it, you can lock it. Let me see, so that one is not good right there. Let me see, this is kind of where you want to aim to it. Let me see if this is good enough. I guess it's not good enough there either. Let me see. I think you want to aim, make sure that the thing is there once you do that there you go there you go now that's not moving anywhere okay oh this can move up and down too okay so once you have it locked down on both and like I said I left this space right here intentionally because I want to get my finger in here to flip the site see so it'll be easier for me to switch the sight, the way that the sight, you know, is showing up right here on the screen right here. So whether you want it to be a dot or anything like that, you can actually have it like that. And it's not moving. Now, 
The other part is steering it in. We're not gonna get into that right now, but hopefully you know how to steer in your uh, rifle and your sight and things like that. But this is just showing you kind of what it looks like when it's mounted into the uh, AR-15 right here. So then if you wanna flip this back and you wanna use it, pop. Now you can see, and we'll be able to get a 3X magnification to your target way out there, 25, 50, 100 yards, whatever that might be. So, yeah, this is how it looks. Let's see now how we can see through here. Hopefully I'm able to show you guys what the way it looks like and everything so you get a feel of how it's being projected right here. All right guys, so that was it. That was the review and unboxing here of the Sightmark Combo. The uh, reflex sighter here with the uh, 3 magnifier mounted here on the AR-15. I did an unboxing and I show you guys how to mount it and all that stuff. So uh, I'll show you where you can actually get this item right here. It is not an affiliate link, but if it is, I'll definitely put it in the description down below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, you can also follow me in any other of my social media as well. And also take a look at my other videos that I have related to this playlist down here, down below. And if you miss my other video that I did, I will put it right here and also down there below. So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Rafi Gret signing out. See you guys in the next video.